Yes. And that was a brief summary of the evening news. Later on this evening, you'll be able to catch net news in Maltese. My next guest today is a pioneer in medicine. She created the subspeciality of congenital heart disease, known as Gooch or grown up congenital heart disease. She is internationally acclaimed for her contribution to medicine and she has visited Malta very often, training most of our senior consultants and specialists at Mata Day. Um, today we're joining her at her home in London and she could perhaps update us on what the coronavirus is actually like living in central London but we're also going to speak about a new award she has been um, given. Thank you very much, Professor Somerville. Hi, it's, Leo. It's nice to see you again. I have missed all my Maltese friends yes. as I left you in a hurry. Yes, you um, did very much so last time, <laughs> just, before, just before the outbreak, wasn't it? Yes. Just before the well, outbreak I in Malta. I was advised by the wise to go home and I think that was the right yes you, you look very well I must say before I'd like to speak about your new award which uh, is amazing and I congratulate you um, but could you give us an insight into well, what it I can't what really the corona tell you feels like in, uh, in being well, in central London life in London is of course very strange locked down locked up uh, locked away but um, it's not uncomfortable if you have plenty of room and one or two nice people living with you to be locked up with. Um, when you go out on the streets, it's very strange, really most peculiar. There are buses that are empty. There are taxis. There are a few cars. There aren't very many people in, uh, except at the weekends when they're rather naughty and they go to the parks and don't observe what the government has begged us to observe, quite rightly. It's a strange city, but we lack pollution. I live in the most polluted part of uh, Marylebone, yes, and yes. it's really changed. Things are less dirty, nature is better, and the asthmatics are much better off. Yes. So it's not all bad. It's nice to bicycle across, apparently. Uh, my lovely Sophie Muscat, who lives here, bicycles off to the other side of London and it's much better and I think everything you know it's not all bad but it is inconvenient it is inconvenient but the silver Very. lining I think is the environment obviously is the environment um, tell us a bit about your new award I was uh, delighted when I heard the, about your new award well thank you Leah I think I was very fortunate very surprised to be given this a big accolade award by the World Heart Federation, which is responsible for organizing world cardiology and um, uh, the main World Congress of Cardiology and uh, various promotions. And I was surprised for various reasons. First of all, because why should they give it to me? I'm still not certain about that. And secondly, uh, I am a great and known critic of theirs and I'm quite outspoken, as you know, about this, that, and the other when I feel something. Um, and I have been very outspoken of the World Heart Federation. So I'm very surprised whether they gave it to keep me quiet or somebody there was feeling rather nice. Who knows? But I'm very glad to have it because it's prestigious and it's nice to have an award. And when you get old and forgotten and useless, I, don't, I think it's nice to have... It's like having another piece of jewellery, you could almost say. Um, I like it. Makes one feel one wasn't there for nothing. Um, I'm sure they really wanted, anyway. they really wanted to recognise your contribution throughout your life. I think. Well, I think somebody did, and I'm very grateful. And I wrote a nice little speech, and I said I wouldn't go and get it in America. Anyhow, the World Congress was cancelled, so that was a good decision taken some time ago. I, I think I've been lucky to have these awards yes, and yeah. I don't think I deserve them, but I'm very happy to have them.
You're a person who travels very frequently. I mean, you're, uh, you spend most of your life going from one country to another, training specialists and consultants at different hospitals. How do you think your life is going to change after this? Because I imagine we're not going to go back to normality straight away. Well, I think that my life won't change a lot because, you know, I've had my professional life and uh, I don't think, you know, I want to go on training people. I'm willing to give the odd lecture. I'm sure it will be a bit odd, but um, I'm willing to go if people really want me. I mean, I think Serbia is already talking about, please, will you come back? Not sure I will. And of course, I'll come back to Malta because I love it. You love and they're very nice and very generous to me, and they welcome me as a member of the cardiac department, which I'm proud to be. Yes, and I think they're very proud of you too. Can we speak a bit about um, the coronavirus and the figures that you're seeing um, from Malta? What, I mean, they're well, very positive, I think. I am impressed how well Malta has done I really am impressed. You really have had relatively few cases. You haven't actually taken up lockdown as extremely as our government has made us. Uh, I think you seem to be ready. I think Marta Day is, seems to be very well organized, as far as I can tell from my colleagues. And I think you're to be congratulated. And I think you have a very good Minister of Health. I envy you. Absolutely, absolutely. Everything's been under control. Coming to the UK again, um, Boris Johnson is still indisposed, obviously recovering. Um, how do you think that's affecting, affecting um, the government, um, well, not, having, not having its captain? Well, of course, every ship should have its captain, but I think its captain has done well to uh, to survive. I think he was very sick, more sick than the public will be told. And yes, he was well looked after. And yes, they were clever to move him out as 24 million people were watching the Queen's speech, which was wonderful, uniting us. I really have admiration for the Queen, Absolutely. as do we all, I feel. And um, I think we need him back. I don't think our government is very strong. I'm extremely impressed with our Chancellor, who was a great addition just in time. And when he speaks, he speaks with sense. Um, I'm sure the government has got good advisers, but I don't think it has taken good decisions. I am not in admiration of our government. And if asked, and if not asked, I'll tell you, mm -hmm. I think the medical profession will take retribution on this government for its behavior to our profession. We are proud people, and we, with the nurses and all the people who support the medical profession and the NHS, really are fed up with them. Yes. <laughs> Professor Jane Somerville, thank you very much for joining us today. And I hope we'll be in touch again in a few weeks for an update and more. Thank you very much, and have a good evening. Thank you, lovely Malta. Goodbye. Be good and be healthy. <laughs> Goodbye to you. Thank you very much. That was Professor Jane Somerville from her home in central London with an update on the corona and giving us some information about her new award for her contribution to medicine. I thank you very much for joining us again today. I'll be with you tomorrow at 5.45. I wish you a very good evening. Keep safe, keep healthy and see you soon.